3.9G technology. Sometimes it's called 3.9G. It's the technology before the fourth generation. The ITU organization specified a set of requirements for the 4G standards named the International Mobile Telecommunication Advanced Specification. These requirements set peak speed requirements for 4G services as follows. The peak speed requirements for the 4G services as follows. 300 megabits per second for high mobility communication such as from trains on cars. 1 gigabits per second for low mobility communication such as pedestrians and stationary users. 2 3.9 standards were commercially deployed. The first one is WiMAX, the second is LTE. 2 3.9 and in some references called 4G technology and we will see how they enhance themselves and earn the classification of the, of the fourth generation later on. 2, 3.9 also known as 4G technology standards are commercially deployed. The first one is mobile WiMAX standard. First used in South Korea in 2007. The second is Long-Term Evolution Standard, LTE, first released in Oslo, Norway and Stockholm, Sweden since 2009. Since the first release, version of mobile WiMAX and LTE support much less than 1 gigabit per second peak bitrate since since the first release of these two standards support much less they support much less than one gigabits per second peak bitrate they are not fully IMT advanced compliant غير متوافقين مع هذا الشرط أي شرط شرط ال ITU أنه يكون one gigabits per second for stationary users and pedestrians, slow moving users, and 300 megabits per second for high mobility users. So they don't meet that requirement. Since the first release, the first release versions of mobile WiMAX and LTE support much less than one gigabits per second peak bitrate they are not fully IMT advanced compliant but are often called 4G by service providers and we will know later when we study the 4G why they are called 4G because they increase their speed and they met the requirements and they became IMT advanced compliant HSPA evolved and became evolved HSPA. A further improved 3GPP standard was released late in 2008 with subsequent worldwide adoption beginning in 2010. The newer standard allows bitrates to reach as high as 337 megabits per second in the downlink and 34 megabits per second in the uplink. HSPA supported with multiple input, multiple output, 2x2 two two MIMO technologies and higher order modulation, 64 QAM. LTE. LTE is a standard for wireless communication of high speed data for mobile phones and data terminals, LTE. LTE is based on GSMH and UMTS network technologies. 
increasing capacity and speed using different how they increase the speed and capacity by using different a different radio interface together with core network improvements so they improved the network and they use different radio, radio interface the standard the LTE standard the standard is developed by the 3GPP organization. The LTE features are, what are the LTE features? These are the features. Downlink peak rates of 300 megabits per second. Uplink peak rates of 75 megabits per second. Quality of service provisions permitting a transfer latency of less than 5 milliseconds in the radio access network. Has the ability to manage fast moving models supports scalable carrier bandwidths from 1.4 MHz to 20 MHz, supports orthogonal or utilize orthogonal frequency division multiple access, OFDMA, for the downlink and utilize single carrier FDMA for the uplink to conserve power and that was a really smart move to conserve power. The base station can use a sophisticated way to send the data in efficient manner the mobile station the cell phone for the user use a simpler way to conserve power LTE supports both FDD and TDD and that's it thank you